Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing something of an evolution of one of my first viral videos on the channel. If you've been following me for long enough, you remember the how to look good in every photo where I showed you different poses that work to your own benefit. And today I really wanted to create this video to show you my go-to poses. As you guys know, I've been modeling for over a decade now and I feel like I accumulated go-to poses that just whenever I feel lost in a picture that's like my default and it always looks cute so who doesn't want to look cute in a photo first I want to say a huge thank you to Jing for sponsoring this video my outfit today is all Jing and I'm gonna link these pieces in the description box in case you are interested now let's start with the first category this is the standing category this is the one where I feel like a lot of people usually feel kind of like weird about it and they don't know how to give that like just cool chilled vibe like I know what I'm doing I'm not a model but like I feel comfortable which is basically what we all want to exude in a photo just like feeling ourselves being confident yet you know very effortless so the first pose is the taking a step this is where you're faking it and if you have a solid uh, friend or Instagram husband if you have somebody that's taking your picture all they need to do is stand in one place and that's what we want to do we want to like minimize the amount of work the people that are taking the picture need to do so this is the step and what you want to do is basically create this kind of a fake step and a little bit of a movement in your body, which will give that, oh my God, you took a picture. <laughs> I wanna make sure that you don't get confused with what to do with your hands. If you have pockets, you can just have them in the pockets. If you have a bag, you can hold your bag. If you wanna just kind of swing your hands, you know, just like walking, but don't make it too awkward. This, you don't want, you don't want this. The next pose is something that will help you out in case the weather outside is not working. Something that I love to do to create a little bit of that effortless, oh, just like took my picture, someone took my picture while I was just like living, is putting the hand in the hair. It can either be to kind of poof it up a bit or it can also be just like holding the hair if it is windy. And what I like to do with this position when the hand is here is to break up the legs a little bit. So you want to stand pretty straight forward. You want to make sure that your weight is maybe on one leg and then you can bend the other one just to create a little bit more of a dynamic movement because if you don't move those legs, this is the result. And we don't want that, okay? The next pose is something that I like to do when I'm wearing either like mini dresses or mini skirts whenever I want to create a little bit more of like that quaint little innocent look i like to cross my legs so i'll take one ankle on top of the other you know you can lead forward a little bit with your body you can lean backwards a little bit with your body with the hands if you do have a bag i sometimes like to put it in the front especially if it's a cute bag you want to show it off completes the outfit but basically what it creates is this hourglass shape to your body and still feels pretty effortless the next one is a kind of a variation of a step, but it's not really a step. So because I don't always trust necessarily the person that takes my photos to give me that length. Gary, you're doing great, babe. You're, you're a great Instagram husband. But I always want to make sure that I support the end result. So basically what I like to do is to create a little bit of an angle and to get myself looking very tall and very elongated. It's putting one of my legs in the front and then the back leg I bent a little bit to create a little bit of a shape. Always remember that the object that is closest to the camera will always look the biggest. So we want this to be the focal point. And then the next pose is one that I do often when I have flowy dresses, which you know what, for you, I'm gonna go the extra mile and change into a flowy dress and show you how it looks. I changed for you. So something that I like to do is a variation. There's two variations for this one. So one of them is a variation for the step. You step, but you kind of fake it by spinning around to give this dress a little bit of movement. Shoot it on burst mode. That way you'll have options to choose from and then you'll have the evolution of the step and you'll be surprised how many cute pictures you can find in there. The second thing is if you don't want to be stepping, you can just stand, but again, kind of cheated by turning around and 
Voila! Okay, I'm gonna go change so we can get into our non-standing poses. Next category is the, I was about to call it sitting, but it's not really sitting, it's like the not standing category. So let's call it the non standing category. This is when you're just like not standing. So the first one is when you're sitting on an object. Creating shapes with your body really helps with making the picture more dynamic and just you kind of knowing what to do with your body. So something that I like to do is to bend my leg a little bit more in and then keep one leg a little more straight out but still a little bent so it again creates this kind of loungy feel but it's still pretty structured everything looks good so it kind of gives that more of a casual vibe to the photo and creates again a really pretty position for your legs again they're closer to the camera with your hands if you feel awkward something that i often do is either keep them down and like holding each other so something in general like a tip that i always make sure that i do is when you do sit on a chair for photos comfort is not key okay so what you want to do is make sure that your body looks good so you want to scooch up a little bit forward and really sit on the edge to create a more of a nicer shape to your body. What happens a lot of the times is when we sit all the way in, it's just everything just feels disconnected and crunched up. You're in a bar, ha! Huh. Oh my God, totally, picture. What? Perfect. Okay, so we are done with the chair. Now I'm going to show you um, a pose that I like to do whenever I don't know what to do or if I'm in an environment where the background is not great and I just like don't feel it or don't feel my outfit. I go in and there we go. And I kind of opt for this little thing. Again, this is feels kind of not for something that someone caught me doing it i think maybe it's just in my head but it does doesn't feel too too posed so something that i like to do especially if i have like long dresses create a little cinderella moment but that's where i kind of just go and create something more interesting with my face with the hands in this position it's so easy to find where to put them so usually I like to put them on the face and kind of frame my face a little bit, pretending like I'm holding something. You can laugh, you can create this like self-love moment. It's really endearing, I promise, it's so cute. Okay, the next position is for all of us who are either not flexible enough or just feel really awkward and feel like they're in a kindergarten again. So we wanna avoid this, We're just positioning your legs in a shape you can create like a much more beautiful dynamic photos so i will position one leg closer to the body and on the ground and then the second one i will kind of lift up a bit and elongate with my hands what i like to do is either sit back or just come in and again just being really endearing <laughs> Next sitting position that I like to do, again, especially when I take my own pictures in the mirror, kind of a variation of the mermaid. So what we wanna do is if you started front facing, you move a little bit to the side and you keep the inner leg in the same position, but then the other leg goes a little bit more out to the side. This way you can, first of all, show your shoes if they're cute. Also, you can lean back a little bit, you can lean forward, and again, you have the opportunity to really play around with where you can place your hands, to hug your leg or to lean back, and you can really play around with how long you wanna look. And then the next pose is one that feels, again, very casual. We are very much going after that effortless look. So uh, something that I like to do is to sit a little bit on an angle and crossing my legs, but not putting them down, so keeping them up, and then using this space to kind of put my hands around the knees or in the front or touching each other, but not crouching in more you're still straight you still have your body here and just like more of that you know laid back I'm just chilling you're taking a picture cool 
the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you like this video. Leave it in the comments if you want a posing guide part two. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.